let's talk about anxiety. Mm -hmm. I know that you have lightly talked about it in times. And I just want to talk to you about like how anxiety affects your life. What has it done in terms of playing a part in your personal life and your career? Like just talk to me about what you're comfortable with. Uh, Yeah. So I think we kind of touched on it a bit earlier. Like um, when we're talking about, you know, like the, 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 the nature of our job, you know, like the, what we were doing in the band and the, the situation being on stage in front of thousands of people. Um, I think it's a really normal place to experience anxiety, you know, like you're going to go and perform in front of, you know, a lot of different people that you don't know who they are. Um, and it's not a natural thing to do, you know, in, in terms of um, everyday life. You don't just talk to thousands of people, you know. Um, so, it was something that I had to, you know, learn to uh, adjust. Um, anxiety for me, I've learned is is a feeling that now has a word, you know, um, and I feel like for generations, human beings have felt it and not really even been able to put, you know, the finger on what it is. Um, but we overcome it, you know, um, and certain things in in life can change your perspective on them things. And I think for me, like since I've had my daughter and since she was born, like the main thing in, in my mind is like trying to be a good example to her, like in terms of, you know, I can do things and I can achieve things and I can overcome things and you can do this too. Um, and to let things like, you know, a feeling stop you from doing that after having a child feels like a really small thing. Like, I feel like I've like, had to step up, you know, as yeah. as as a man, no, just you know, as a person, um, and be this example to her that doesn't uh, succumb to these feelings. That's why I'm even doing this interview, you know. Like I, I used to get a lot of anxiety around like having a conversation like this, just in this kind of environment, and I want her to be able to look at me and be like, "Yo, my dad's doing this," you know. He's he's the man. He's cool. He's, yeah, he's he is cool. He, he's a cool guy. Yeah, so. Um, that's helped me a lot, for sure. That is so fucking cool to... Obviously, my mom's a psychologist, so I grew up and I think mental health was not a conversation for most families, and hopefully it will be, but, like, I've watched so my mom talk to so many people and talk them through how to get over a panic attack, how to get over anxiety, how to not get over it, but, like, manage it, live with it, be okay to go about your everyday life i think sometimes if you don't have anxiety people look at people with anxiety like just get the fuck over it and uh-huh. i think it shows up in everyone's lives in such different ways and you and saying, i don't think that's the way you can look at it you know yeah. i think everybody's situation is, is individual yes. i think it takes an individual experience then to happen for somebody to overcome that yeah, too you know totally if you think about the first time you can recall in your life experiencing anxiety did you experience anxiety prior to fame? For sure, like, yeah. Like, take me to, like, a moment in your life where you remember being like, wow, I didn't know that was anxiety, but now I do. But I enjoyed it. What? That was the thing, yeah. Like, I enjoyed being in that feeling. And they got to a certain point, I think, where it just became too much. Like, it just was, was weighing on me, that feeling of, um, like, anticipation and then mm-hmm. getting the adrenaline and then the the after feeling of that, you know? Um, As a young kid, I loved it. Like, I loved being on stage and I loved performing. It was like a free space for me Mm -hmm. to go and be a character because it was, you know, I was playing a a role in some little school performance. It was nothing serious. Um, When it became a thing that had a lot of weight behind it in terms of, you know, people watching and stuff, then you're going to have... Um, you're going to have natural feelings of anxiety. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people staring at you, judging you, writing about you, following you, taking pictures of you. That's a lot. Can you share with us, like, in the heyday of paparazzi and insanity, like, what would be something that would really trigger your anxiety in those days? Um, just the idea of, like... Um like not being able to just do normal things, like mm-hmm. to just go outside and like walk out onto the street, you know, like, cause where we lived, it was kind of a bit crazy. Yeah. And there's just people always there like waiting to take a photo and stuff. And obviously thinking about having a child and like raising her in that environment, it was just very claustrophobic for yeah. me. I didn't want her to have to be like exposed to that yeah. cause she didn't choose it, you know, mm-hmm. like it was 
a choice that I made. So I was like, we need to get out of here so that she can have some chance of like a, a normal childhood, you know, where there's not cameras flashing in her face constantly. Hi, Daddy Gang. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, that was just a little clip from the episode. If you want to watch the entire full video episode, it is linked below. It's the first thing in the description. Go watch it. It's a great episode. Love you all. I will see you next Wednesday.